You'll be called, my delight is in her, and your land married, for the Lord delights in you, uh, and in your land, and, and, uh, and to him your land will be married. For as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so your um, so the Lord delights, or, or so the Lord rejoices over you. Um, I just w- wanted to highlight um, the land is now married, and when somebody comes and asks a woman, "Hey, can I take you out on a date? Can I marry you?" No, I'm taken, and I want to say that. I want to say that to the devil. I want to say that to my feelings. So all of the fears that come against me, I'm taken. I'm not on the market anymore. I'm not for sale. You can't buy me. There's no price you can pay that uh, you can buy me with it. You can't buy my allegiance, Satan, with your trinkets and your seductions and your fancy jobs and your fancy cars and your fancy houses. You can't buy my allegiance through shakings in the stock market or losing jobs or even my health. You can't buy me because I've been bought with a price. I know the price that was bought for me. And so I'm a slave now. I'm a slave to God and you have no authority over me. I've handed over my life to, to God. So he has my life. I'm the, the, the not for sale is over my land, not for sale. And I have to keep saying that to the devil. You can't buy me. And I have to keep repeating myself, repeating that to myself and to, the, to, to speak to the devil and to my flesh. You tripped me up here, but I'm not for sale, so I'm going to get back up. Don't rejoice over me, O enemy, because I will rise back up, because the, I'm going to re- put in front of me the sign that is over my heart, which is not for sale. I'm married now. I've been taken. Mm-hmm. So you can't touch me. And I want to have that cry over in my heart all the time. And uh, I praise God that, um, that uh, what can separate me from the love of God? Not nakedness, not peril, not social distancing. Social distancing is not going to separate me from the love of Christ. And social distancing is not going to separate me from Christ. And social distancing is not going to separate me from Christ's body, which is Christ, which is you all that who you've given to me. Social distancing will not separate me from you all because we are united, as we heard, in the spirit. Because we're united in the spirit, what shall separate me from the love of God? And um, I I want us to prove, I want to prove that social distancing is not going to bring a distance between us in this church. We may have to use other mechanisms, but I want to be able to say that you all grew fonder to me because um, if you're connected with Christ and I'm connected with Christ, we cannot be separated. And so as we go to Christ individually, as we claim to say, Lord, you rejoice over me. I'm married to you. The Lord will show me you, each of you, or the specific ones that you, the Lord wants to lay a burden on our hearts to pray for you, to think about ways in which we can care for you. Some of us may lose jobs. Some of us may have um, health challenges. I know some of us are definitely going to be affected by this in terms of money and things like that. But I want to, we want to care for one another. We want to pray for one another and we want to be attentive to what the Spirit is saying. I don't want my land to say, given 10% for this, for things of this world. I really want to embrace this heart of being married to the Lord over my land, over my entire body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So may God help us to that end.